Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at Mastercam Milton Tutorials and Toolpath series. This is our another one video or another one project on a Mastercam Milton module series. And the previous video we learned about that on a very basic and a simple machine and that was a simple left hand spindle and a single turret machine where we learned a very basic thing about the Milton. What is the process? How we can set up a job setup for a single spindle machine and after that in this video we will learn about that how we can create a tool path for a double spindle machine so if you have a double spindle machine or if you are interested that how the double spindle machines are working with the help of a Milton module so you can learn all about and everything in this project where and the project that we are divided in three to four videos where we can learn all these things step by step video in the first one we would like to show you the simulation that what are the steps and what are the different tool path we are created for complete producing this one part after that in the next one video we will show you the left side spindle and after that in the right side spindle so all these things that we will cover in this one project so if you are new on mastercam milton module first i would like to suggest you go and watch before first learn the basic thing about the master cam the basic thing of machining like as a lathe like as a milling if you have a good knowledge of lathe and milling first go and learn from the first video of Milton what are the that how it is going to be work or you can also start to learn from this one video so if you want to learn the everything about the Milton so that's the best place where you are right now in every single week we will try to create a video and share with you guys so you can learn on a mastercam different modules and in a deep so you can grow in your career in a very way so in this video let we have to start to simulate this one part and what are the things that we have to cover so this is my simulation window of mastercam milton module where you the best point is you get a proper and perfect machine simulation where all these things are properly visible that how my how it is my tool is going to be mounted on my uh, turret how my workpiece is hold how my left hand spindle is holding my that one thing how my right hand spindle is holding so all these things that are available in a perfect way and the best thing if you want to do practice on at your home so you can also get this machine available easily in your mastercam 2023 module if you don't have knowledge about it you can just go and comment we will try to help you the best as we can so let we have to start to simulate this one and the one of the most important thing that we are when you are going to learn the mastercam milton module always keep in mind that you have to always watch the simulation video because in a simulation video you will get idea and understanding about that how what are the different kind of operation that we have to perform to create any workpiece and the second important thing is you get understanding the what, which operation we have to perform first and after that which operation that and what is the sequence of operation that you also get understanding when you watch a simulation video so as you can see here this is my left my workpiece which is mounted on the left hand spindle and this is my turret where we have already mounting some of tools now let we have to start to play this series so this is my simulation there are different kind of tools we already mounted and with the help of different kind of tool we will perform different kind of operations the first operation that is called the facing operation that we are successfully created with the help of help of a facing tool after that this is the second tool where we are to we have to do the roughing operation always keep in mind when you have a Milton module so in the direction where my insert is available spindle always rotating in this that direction the first was the face rough and after that that is the next one is finishing once my finishing operation successfully completed after that we have to came to the drilling operation how my drilling is going to be working right at here so that is the best part that is the best way to create this workpiece so this is my drilling is going to be created right at here So once my drilling is successfully done, after that we have to came 
the another one tool path that is called grooving with the help of grooving we just do the grooving on the both of areas so that's after completing of the grooving we have to came in another one tool path that is called the threading and the Milton module the best part the simulation how my tool is came to the my workpiece and all these things are visible in a very proper and a perfect way and that's the best advantage of Milton so now as you can see here once my left hand spindle is successfully created all the tool paths so after that now the next step is part handling so now my right hand spindle or right hand chuck came to this this it will make the same spindle speed holding the part and after that the right hand spindle going to its initial position its initial point so that's called part handling once my part handling successfully done after that we can go to machining my right hand spindle and what are the steps that we have to follow so in right hand spindle there are the some operations are available right at here the first thing is that we have to do the facing for the extra material that we are successfully done in a right hand spindle so in this video you will learn all these things like as how we can do the left hand side spindle tool path how we can create the tool path on a right hand spindle how we can create a tool path for the part handling how we can create the threading kind of tool path and all these things you will learn in a very perfect and expertise way so as you can see here the x uh, the tool path synchronization the tool path the which one tool path we have to play for first the which one tool path we have to play after that all these things are very important and when it is going to be collide so it is also getting visible to us that when it is going to be happening in the previous one tool path that is going to be collide because the reason behind that the tool was not much more outside from the turret so that's the reason so we how we can make these kind of things changes we will also learn about all these things so as you can see here my tool path is going to be successfully completed and my part is going to be produced so as you can see if you want to check a particular detail so we can also hide the machining house machine housing as you can see here this is now my main main thing the main spindle left side spindle right side spindle or tool and all these things if you want to hide the machine so that time the machine we can also hide so in that condition the tool and fixture should be visible to us if you want to hide the tool we can also hide the tool if you want to hide the fixture we can also hide the fixture so as you can see here this is the only workpiece is available right at here and that is only the stop position if you want to make the visibility of my workpiece so you can make the visibility of the workpiece where you can check the things and how it is going to be produced uh, right at here so that's the all these things that you can learn in a proper and a perfect way of Milton so that's the, all about the basic thing on in this video the sequence of operation and all these things so in the next one video we will learn about that how we can create the tool path and for the left hand spindle and before starting to create the tool path for the left hand spindle we will also have to learn about that how we can create a job setup for when we have a left side spindle and right side spindle both so if you have a machine for a double spindle i would like to suggest you go and watch the next both of videos where you learn all the detail creating a tool path and everything so thank you so much for watching this one video see you in the next video keep learning keep growing